For the past few years, we've been training and empowering people in Rudraprayag district of Uttarakhand towards building a sustainable community radio, Mandakini Ki Awaaz. I'm Sarita Thomas uh, and I'm here on the Citizen Journalist Show to tell you more about my experiences in Rudraprayag in Uttarakhand during the floods of June. I also represent an organization called People's Power Collective uh, and we work in the field of community radio in rural India. At a time of, of natural disaster and uh, as a tool for disaster management, its role is immense. Uh, we were just gearing up for trainings and then suddenly from the 14th we were hit by these crazy rains and our community members were saying they hadn't seen rain that bad in their entire lives. This was my first time in a, in a, in a state of disaster or in a place that had been hit by a disaster. There was no electricity for days on end, mobile networks all went off. Uh, you just, your security was the people you were with. Everywhere I looked, there was destruction. There were people grappling with disaster, not knowing where to go and what to do. What we noticed in the field, there was no information. There was nothing in the local language. We didn't know what was happening if you turned a corner. And, and that was the same um, emotion felt by all other NGOs, all other organizations and individuals on the ground. There was just no information to work with. There were chopper drops of relief. But no one knew where, when, how to access it. It was all just happening kind of parallel to each, each activity without information. So I think our first realization is if only we were broadcasting because the value of this medium in the local language at the same exact time that information was needed was sorely missed. It was at this time that our training and efforts paid off. Our community volunteers met people, documented their stories and collected information, all of which highlighted the need for a community radio at these remote places. We're working with a lot of other local NGOs, local government, district level, uh, trying to kind of find methods of how this radio station can be powerful for them. Uh, we're moving Mandakini Ki Awaaz's license process ahead as well with the hope that within the next three or four months there will be a live broadcasting station where information can be current and relevant information, be it weather, uh, you know, the, the, the severe winter that's likely to hit uh, and all of this via their own local radio station broadcasting in their language of Gadwali.